Today we're talking Retribution Paladin, and we're going to talk a few, just a few comments about the talents real quick. You can definitely do this without Repent. This Justice gives you stuns for days, and you can, the one time you're not going to have stun, after you stun the, the, the Blade Storm, you can Blinding Light that Blood of the Father. Also, Fading Light was like a okay healing, but for that point, I would probably go back to Seal of Order, which also gives you damage reduction in the, in the form of armor, which is you know, not that great, but also just the cooldown reduction on generators, which is like way better. I just like testing that talent. And at 3%, that's still more healing than I thought. Speaking of healing, Crusaders for Reprieve with Crusading Strikes I actually did a lot of healing. That's for the point that that point is going to be, right? I can't put it down here. That's actually a pretty good point. Both points in Golden Path and Seal of Mercy turned out to be like 5%, maybe 6% of my healing. That's like pretty, pretty not great. Also, Unbound Freedom, you're going to want to grab that because a double horsey with Extendo Horsey is just not enough for the frequency of movement you're going to need for some parts of the fight. And when you don't have that, honestly, bu Bubble or Buff's a good option. I think you can pop the Valkyries, but man... I haven't tried it this time around, so. Not too much to note here. Roast me on my ret loadout, but this all felt great. At this point, I don't really know what to do with this. No, I had Jessica's Vengeance for one, for a few attempts, and that is weaker than Final and even Templar's Verdict, so. Just know that, and you're just going to be healing yourself with Word of Glory anyway. I mean, that's, so that's Word of Glory, and that's honestly not too bad. It's 13 cast. That's even without the, the healing hands talent. They'll call that all right. And let me know if you like this. Let me know if it's stupid. Uh, we all. I also just kind of wanted to check the timings, and this seems consistent, at least for red. It feels like it's consistent with the previous iterations, but I think red's the only one that I really remember. My demo kills have all been like, like at some disgusting amount of time. Anyway, um, what this shows me is that there's a 40 second period where you can lust here. And if you have drums, right? Or if you're shaman, if these simons work out, where you're going to be unhassled. They're just dropping green crap on the ground and casting and meleeing you. It's like not a big deal. Also, as far as meleeing, the berserk, especially early when you like have cooldowns and like, so this Berserk, I stun it, and then when the stun wears off, I shield a vengeance, and then when that wears off, I... What's the DR called? Divine Protection? Or you could just sit there and bop that early. You're not going to use bop for much else. Maybe Valks. Again, didn't check that. But here's uh, one of the... So, two sets of runes within 15 seconds. That's not really anything. That's the easiest overlap of the, of the fight. Then you have this Ancient Knowledge and Valkyr. And if you're slow on the ancient knowledge bubble and you are attempting to DPS it within the last couple seconds of the actual cast, those Valks are going to be going through at about that point. Good thing to note, Crusader's Reprieve does give you extended range on Rebuke. Thumbs up. Also, not a bad overlap to bubble. Bubble's better than dying. This bone storm right here is where you're going to probably stun this and find yourself without a stun for now back up here without a stun for blood of the father. So just make sure you blind that blood of the father. Then we have runes. And as you're getting to the second rune, the Valks are shooting across. So just know that if you go for the, the smallest set of runes, like um, after two minutes into the fight and onwards, you will never really be caught with your pants down. Just you can if you're gonna have to get the smallest one first, probably, maybe not. But those Valks cross in the middle of that mechanic. So just flatten your camera out and just try to pay attention. And you have rooms like 10 seconds after those previous rooms. Anything after Valks is fine because Valks doesn't have like a residual fucking effect, right? They're just gone. And then we have the ancient knowledge cast in Valks again. Uh, and then 20 seconds of nothing with Valks. Valks are shooting across. Yeah, 320 Valks don't mean anything, but the runes with the Berserk, and I, di I didn't double check the 335. This has to be Blood of the Father. I'm going to put this down. Blood of the Father. Yes, 
because yeah i'm moving on and then you have valks which just dodge those and the runes are coming up and then another blood of the father cast and then one like four minutes later Sigrun gets to 20 percent the fight's over but they all kind of like share health so falafel will always be at seven percent and you'll always kill Jarl when you know Falafel and Sigrun have the same consistent health how it works all right let's do the vidya Uh, we did it. All right, so that's the poll we've we've run in. I was telling myself, don't blade of justice the runes here, because I would always blade of justice just to just to hit her after I've initiated combat with Sigrun and leave Consecrate over there. It's a stupid little thing that I've been doing. So again, we have 20 seconds of, of cooldowns. It's very uninteresting. Jarl berserks, right? So we stun him, and this was a nice shield. I don't shield a vengeance. I just, yeah, we divine protection, heal ourselves, and just keep keep fighting the good fight. Health orb is always going to help. You're just going to be spamming. You get used to pressing word of glory, put on a convenient button. If you're not used to doing that, hopefully you are. We have, yeah, the glyphs, and then. Now, glyphs again ish. I stun when I'm running out because I'm I'm kind of afraid that blood of the father cast going on. No, I technically don't have a stun for it, but four ways. This is all very. I don't have like uh, defensive passive trinkets on or anything like that. Maybe I do. Nothing crazy. Uh, and this is without healing hands. You know, if, you, if you're worried at all about the healing, just take healing hands, and that's going to greatly increase your power to heal yourself. Honestly, I overlooked it. I'm surprised I didn't take it. There's that ancestral knowledge cast, and then I think the Valk's going to be at the tail end of this. this. Is one of those overlaps? Maybe. Yeah. So if you're slow on that one, and you have to like kick coming back, that's. You know, Crusader's Reprieve isn't going to go that far. Your, your bubble. So, so, just clump and cleave. The way to go. Here's that blade storm that you stun. And then here's that blood that you don't have to stun for. But we blind it. Fantastic. One thing I really didn't like about Repent is that Repent doesn't seem to otherwise currently have the functionality that I, I feel like it used to have, and I feel like Blinding Light used to have this too, where it didn't break on holy damage. And it's either that it's not in the tooltip anymore and it still works, and it just breaks on holy strike so, and, and radiant damage, but, but still not holy damage, which would be a severe oversight. Or it's just no longer part of the game because that was kind of cheesy. It was fun to prop out at least. Either way, that makes Repent a very big liability, especially when you're clumping cleaving and you want to have your, like, let's say, eight second dot from your main generator, right? Like, or your artist hitting generator. I guess, supposed to this build, whatever, I'm stop talking about that. But Valks are pretty, as long as you just find the Valks, flatten your camera out, and then if you need to. Fine-tune that adjustment after you get your initial lane, you know, bring that camera up a little bit. And this is the Berserk overlap with the... Yeah, but he's dead, so who cares? But yeah, so that's runes, and then he Berserks right then. So, you know, you, you're running to get the runes, and he Berserks, he hits you in the back, right? That's less of an issue. I remember, I think, in Shadowlands, I took the Eye for Nice that one. Which was in Shadowlands, it was just physical DR and like counterattack. But um that was pretty cool. But we do have divine protection now. We blind that one at the last fossil second. And falafels. If you go much past, I think if you go like a minute later, falafel just keeps getting ancient knowledge. And it's um it's actually crazy. We'll see in my demo video how long you can go in this fight. Endurance. Warlock. But yeah, 
that's it for Retribution Paladin. And guys, I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank all of our new viewers and new subscribers. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't, I would say to subscribe now. If you want to see anything specific or throw some shade or, or do whatever, just hit me in the comments. Like the video if you like the video. Hit that noti bell if you want to be constantly maybe updated on when the videos come out. Otherwise, just check your sub feed and your homepage. Hopefully, I'll be there. I'll post all this stuff in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace.